Guten Tag, I'm Silica Pina, aka the German Nikki. First of all, I wanted to apologize for not uploading a video in so long. My life has been very busy, but I will try to do my best and upload more often. I saw that during the time I was gone, I reached 100 subscribers and my first video even got over 1.5k views. That means so much for me. Thank you so, so, so much. Let's get down to business. Today I wanted to talk about housing commissions. It is a feature within the home feature. Sadly, many people either don't know about it or they think that it's too much work. But this feature gives you 50 diamonds a week if you use it correctly. And I'm here to show you how. By already doing just one commission, you get 10 diamonds. By doing three commissions, you get 20 diamonds. Five commissions gives you 30 diamonds. Seven commissions gives you 40 diamonds. And the 10 commissions gives you 50 diamonds, which is the maximum amount of diamonds you get per week. When opening the home feature right down here, you find a button saying Home Stylist. If you open this the first time, it will look like this. In order to unlock doing commissions, you need to pass the Home Stylist certification, which you can find right below your profile picture. Basically, they give you a room as example, and you have to recreate exactly this room. You can view the example doing your styling, and they give you exactly the amount of furniture you need. With a 60% accuracy, you already pass. If you don't pass, don't worry. You will either have to wait till the next day to get a free try again, or you can spend some diamonds. But let's just say you passed. Congrats, now you can accept commissions. By the way, you don't need to do the certificate to send someone a commission. I will show you first how to send a commission, because it's very useful to know. So. To send a commission, you can simply tap the button saying Publish down here. As soon as the window opens, you can check if you meet the qualifications to send a commission. They ask you to have at least a furniture collection of 30. This does not mean just 30 items. It means having 30 different items. You cannot buy the same table 30 times, for example. Another requirement to send a commission is to have a maximum of 10 items in the room you want to commission. I for example have 38 items in my room right now. I will select another room by tapping on change room because I have one that I always use for commissions. As you can see, here I only have two items in the room. Those are the minimum items possible because floor and wall always counts towards those items. If you meet all requirements, you can now choose a style you wish your room to be and even give the person you commission some of your hot tickets. Only do this if you really feel like spending some. Even when sending a commission with hot tickets, you can just give this person a praise and not adopt their style meaning also not spending the tickets. But every stylist is happy when their style is adopted, so please keep that in mind. If you want to commission a specific person, you need to go into their home. You can find people by either wandering through rooms, by having people commenting on your page, going into your friends list or your association's members list, or you can find them in the photo wall. Here you can explore stuff that other people did. If you like a room, leave a thumbs up. You can visit their home and commission them if you really enjoy their works. What I do now is I'll go into my house community and commission Nightshade. I need to visit her home and you can see the button saying commission right on top here. It opens the same window as when I go to publish in my own home. Whenever someone accepts your commission, you will see a system-generated message like this. Answering won't really do anything. The person accepting a commission normally just starts to style right away. Okay, now you know how to send a commission. But that only does something for others or if you want to explain someone how to send yourself a commission. Let's see how you normally accept commissions. When in the home stylist feature, tap on the commissions market. This is where most players gave up on this feature. There are by far not enough people sending out commissions. 
you tap on the change button nearly a million of times until you find someone. And when someone shows up, it's probably already taken. You need to be super quick and if you're lucky enough, it will bring you back to your home stylist screen. But don't worry, you don't have to spend hours sitting there and waiting for a commission. You just have to find yourself a commission buddy or two. This means you will have someone that will trade commissions with you. Places to find people interested in trading are either in the official Love Nikki Facebook group, I will add a link to their trading post in my description, or in the official Love Nikki Discord server in the housing channel. Another way is to maybe openly ask, for example, on your Instagram account, or you wander around in the house feature and comment on people's rooms, asking if they want to trade. The easiest way, of course, is asking friends or even having a second Love Nikki account that you can send yourself a commission with. As soon as someone sends you a commission, you see it here in your mailbox. You tap on Accept and go over to My Commission. You have one and a half hours time to finish the commission. To finish, you have to at least put 20 items in this room and it has to be 10 minutes since you accepted it. I don't know why they tried to force you to take 10 minutes, but it's just how this works. If you are not interested in actually styling a room and your trading partner guaranteed you that they will praise your home no matter what you style, there are two things you can do. You can either put 20 random items in a room and finish as soon as 10 minutes are over or you can let the one and a half hours run out without putting any item in the room. It is not possible to share an empty room to the photo wall. I would also not recommend sharing the rooms that you put random items in. They usually do spam the page and that's not what you want to see in the photo wall. The tricky thing is about housing commissions in a nutshell. Doing the certificate, finding someone to trade, and getting praises. Even when doing 10 commissions, there may be someone not so happy with what you did and they might not praise you. I really try to make people aware that praising doesn't hurt you. You don't need to adopt, you can just clear the room afterwards or just praise. Another tip from me, don't do the weekly commissions last second. Every Monday the ranking resets. You want your 10 praises till then. There are some tricks that are quite helpful to know. For example, don't worry about accepting someone's style once they are done. If you don't log in within let's say 6 to 12 hours, because I haven't figured out the exact timing, but it's somewhere around that, the styling gets praised and adopted automatically. This message will show up. So don't do commissions that you still need for this week before we set on Monday, so before 5 a.m. server time, cause it could happen that this person is not logging in and cannot praise you. Last but not least, you can publish a commission every six hours. And I really hope you do that. You don't have to really send out commissions every six hours, but send out commissions just casually during the week and try to give people a chance to get them in the commissions market. So that was it for today. I hope I could help you a little. Give me any feedback that you have. I hope you will comment, like and subscribe. Auf Wiedersehen.